Good morning, interpreters and professors. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks uh, for inviting me uh, to this fantastic conference. Uh, after 15 years, <laughs> we met in Hong Kong for the first time. Thanks, Professor Fang. Uh, I should, uh, I think, uh, I should uh, apologize first for my uh, bad speaking and bad, uh, uh, totally disorganized preparation, uh, especially for uh, your excellent interpreters. I speak uh, slow <laughs> and very frankly, uh, even in Japanese. Sometimes I stop speaking uh, <laughs> on the stage, like this time. So please don't uh, mind, and uh, please uh, talk to me after the, after the presentation. Anyway, uh, the media technology is becoming only a tool for uh, or platform for systematic exploitation. That's a problem. Now we share. Consumerized internet is occupied by advertisements and transformed communication into a so-called uh, rent or fee business or charging subscription fees like that, which realize surplus values into a capitalist accumulation from a massive, truly massive amount of uh, micro-exploitation, exactly in a Marxian term. But in so-called new media theories, after the 70s emerged in uh, Western academics, along with the di digital transformation, basically they shared a view of utopian vision. We can describe it as an anarchist view, in a sense, of society, based on the real human equality <laughs> and true liberty at the same time. Which could be shared with Karl Marx himself when he proclaimed from each according to his ability to each according to his needs, not according to his work. That's the point. That's the second point. Do the new media series lost any accuracy in this complicated reality of our time of life? This is uh, my basic uh, question. Now we uh, can trace back our history of modernization due to investigate how did our ancestry networkers, not netizen, as uh, before told you uh, yesterday, who survived uh, during the hard time almost 100 years ago. Today, that's why I would like to talk about hidden history of anarchists who cannot be separated with communists at that time. Both of them are severely repressed, and many of them had been really killed by the authorities under the imperialism almost 100 years ago. Now, uh, I'd like to talk about uh, Shifo 
from B4. C4 is in Esperanto. Are you socialists born in late 19th century like Sakai Toshihiko, Yamakawa Hitoshi, Arahata Kanson, along with uh, anarchists like Kotoku Shusui, and Osugi Sakai? They published uh, together uh, radical periodicals like journals and newspapers. One of them entitled Heimin Shinbun or The Commoners News and so on. Now we can point out that these big names they are the big names, very famous, uh, memorized in our uh, socialist history in Japan. But they cannot do any big things without much more unknown, anonymous supporters and younger workers' collaborations. Let me focusing on Yamaga, Yamaga Taiji, born in 1892, among them. Here I will show you some pictures of Yamaga. This one is uh, shot in uh, 1922 more than 90 years ago in Shanghai with his uh, Chinese comrades. He's an enthusiastic uh, Esperantist, uh, which is uh, invented by Zamenhof, uh, intended to uh, international language uh, not like English, but much more like Latin. And it, uh, it's, uh, it has a quite simple grammar with uh, simple words uh, in order to uh, uh, make people uh, uh, to use. He's also a good letter press typographer, the new media at that time. Yamaga uh, actually had ass assisted Osugi for printing documents, translations, and publishing uh, newspapers for a long time. And he's also a traveler, world traveler. He traveled around Shanghai, Kaohsiung, Taipei, and Manila in Philippines under the pressure of Imperial Japan during its colonial wartime. These pictures are uh, much more uh, contemporary, I mean, after the World War. They gathered uh, together uh, for uh, Esperantist uh, Association in Kyoto. JAF means uh, Japanese Anarchist Federation, which exists after the World War uh, II and uh, since uh, 1968. 
they dissolved uh, uh, in the uh, 68 uh, during the students' revolt. And he he uh, survived the war time, and after the even after the war, uh, he's selling uh, he's publishing and sell sell uh, newspapers uh, entitled Kuro Kurohata, which means black flag. Uh, Actually, this picture is uh, taken uh, at the time uh, uh, at the um, conference, international conference, world conference against uh, atomic bomb. Actually, uh, after the World War II, uh, many anarchists uh, focusing on uh, peace movement. And he uh, had a long life after the war, and uh, uh, he's also known uh, as Esperantist uh, in uh, Japanese newspaper as well. Th this is uh, not anarchist newspaper, uh, Asahi Shimbun. So uh, I can say uh, he's a little bit uh, recognized by a Japanese society after the war. <laughs> this is a uh, late Yamaga in, in his uh, late time. I mean, uh, 1960s, I guess. Uh, giving a speech uh, for Indian uh, peace movement at the conference, uh, at the international conference uh, for Esperantists. He's also good at uh, drawing and writing and he he's very uh, good at uh, study or run by himself not very well educated but uh, he's studied uh, in uh, national libraries and uh, take notes by himself especially interested in uh, new technology, scientific one. And this, this is anthropological uh, note. And interested in also in, uh, uh, what, what can I say? industrial design as well and uh, in his late dates uh, he drew uh, he rem remembered and uh, he drew many memoirs with his drawings especially during the war time he had uh, many very severe uh, experiences under the pressure of imperialism. You can see, for example, uh, upside the left page, 
in 1990s, 19. Uh, uh, Kimitsu Shukban uh, 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 there had been an incident of uh, underground publishing. The, uh, they translated uh, anarchist books like Kropotokin or Bakunin into Japanese and uh, they uh, published, but it's of course banned, prohibited to uh, distribute. And he in jail and uh, he remember uh, concrete uh, Uh, incident uh, as she draws. And I, I would like to uh, introduce a Chinese written anarchist newspaper, Min Sheng, which means Voice of the People, published by Shifu in Esperanto, or Liu Shifu, born in uh, 1884. He was one of his collaborations. Moreover, he remembers a lot of anonymous or unknown grassroots who crossed the sea beyond the border. Now we can see how do they live, transport, and communicate in a real sense, as we find contemporary insights also from a memoir entitled The Twilight Journal. In his later decades after the war and his attendance of the War Registrar's International Conference in India. We have an uh, anarchist library or archive in Fujinomiya city. It's very close to the Mount uh, Fuji. There had been a youth hostel as well, but uh, it's now closed, unfortunately. But the building is the archive or Bunken Center. You can see these kinds of books with uh, periodicals as well as many, many, many flyers and uh, materials. Most of them, uh, after the war, but uh, some of them, uh, we, uh, they have uh, old materials before the war. Uh, unofficial or uh, underground uh, prints binded like this and archived. And sometimes they uh, reprint These are very well uh, binded as a book. Because an anarchists, uh, Japanese anarchists, uh, is, uh, ma many of them uh, working for a printing or publishing company. So they are good at uh, printing or binding books.
And uh, among these kind of files or folders, here you can see his uh, Twilight Journal, Tasogare Nikki, Yamaga Taiz. This one. His writing is not that easy to read <laughs> for Japanese, even for Japanese, but uh, it has uh, enormous information, especially uh, during the war. There is a drawing book entitled uh, Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive. Shinuka Ikiruka. Mm. Which is. Uh, which de describes uh, uh, accidents or events. Uh, of the uh, of his threaten life threaten from his childhood <laughs> yeah, he, he experienced uh, almost a uh, drone <laughs> in the bus <laughs> when he was very young. Number three, Th this is uh, almost he, he had kidnapped. He remembers. And drone also in the river. And uh, when he was young, uh, he swimmed. When, when he took a swimming, a brick. Someone thrown a brick and <laughs> he, he had almost been ki killed many times. <laughs> and then during the war time, ah. Uh, after Osugi, who killed by uh, the police, just after the uh, great earthquake before the war, you know, Kanto Dai Shinsai, with his kids and uh, his uh, partner. After that, uh, at his funeral, funeral of Osugi, uh, someone came to bring Osugi's bone to somewhere, robbing. And he has a pistol and a uh, shot by him. But accidentally, uh, uh, the bullet has gone. Not by, uh, not hit. 
so he survived again. <laughs> yeah, in uh, 1927, uh, there had been um, a demonstration against uh, Tian えっとね、治安維持法を忘れたの。うん、治安維持法はね、security law a kind of security law uh repressing uh revolts. And actually, uh, he wrote many interesting episodes uh, during the war, uh, war time. And uh, I would like to introduce a book written by Yoshizo, uh, Henmi Yoshizo. Yoshizo Henmi. Uh, he's an anarchist based in Osaka, and uh, this is published but, uh, after the World War II in the uh, 80s, uh, but not famous at all. And the last seventh chapter, there had been, uh, uh, he wrote about Shifo as a breach uh, of anarchist between uh, Japan and China. In this chapter, he wrote a very impressive episode. Uh, when he was in Shanghai, uh, Japanese uh, colonialist company uh, import and uh, selling drugs, and they have a warehouse in Shanghai port. And uh, some one of uh, his uh, Chinese comrades tried to bomb the warehouse in order to uh, destroy the military uh, underground capitalization. And it looks it succeeded because he remember he watched uh, the crash. These episodes are referring to a historical fact. I should point out, but it's hidden totally hidden and not recognized at all in official history. And it should, uh, the bombing uh, should uh, make Japanese war difficult after 30s. To conclude, uh, now we are here at the opposite side of the West Lake in front of this uh, building. There is a memorial of Shifo 
who dreamt and exhausted his incredible effort and truly grasped intelligence of his brilliant short life for the real equality and true liberty. Dreaming cannot be banned or prohibited, even in such a hard time. So I'd like to say, let's hug together. Let's communicate in our real life. And let's make history of our time and your future. I also help as possible as I can, at least in an invisible way. <laughs> Begin with to correct uh, your institute SSL certification <laughs> of uh, CAAINS.org which has been falsely issued for example.com. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening.